All right, so we got a late night grim dark coming for you. It's about one in the morning, uh, Monday morning, um, and so I got a new terrain idea. I'm going to make a series of standing stones with runes carved in them, kind of like in Northern Europe, like in England and Scotland. Um, so I already have this piece of foam cut out, um, and it's sort of this faceted but sort of featureless uh, pillar of stone. But as you see here, I've got um, runes sort of carved in here by whatever indigenous people. And when I tried carving these out originally with my knife, they came out kind of messily. Messily, is that a word? Anyway, they didn't come out very well. Um, so I came up with a new little trick for carving this out, and I'm going to show you in just a minute. Alright, so what we're going to do here is a trick a friend of mine showed me in high school, a variation on it. Um, but what we're going to do is very, probably very bad for you and bad for the environment. So if you have a problem with doing things that are detrimental to yourself or the world around you, you're probably not going to be interested in this. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a little 99 cent Bic lighter and an all-metal screwdriver, a uh, flathead, and it doesn't have to be a screwdriver, it can really be anything made of metal. Um, and we're going to heat it up uh, under our screwdriver, and let it get real hot. Um, you probably see where this is going. And there we go. And then we hold our styrofoam out and take our screwdriver and we can just push in whatever shape we want. Um, and so the guy who showed me this, um, what he would do is he would heat up, I'm going to try and do this so I don't blow the flame around, he would heat up a unraveled paper clip and poke bullet holes in his Imperial tanks. Um, it looked pretty cool. <clears throat> and so this is a, a similar thing. Um, and so we can put whatever shapes you want here. I don't know if you got all that, um, but one thing you'll notice happens is this sort of like silly string of styrofoam comes out and uh, and gets tangled through all the little canyons you melt in here. Um, and I'll show you what to do about that in just a second. There we go. And. You know, and so you, you don't have to do shapes like this. I'm just doing this as an example. Like the one I have already made has a little more organized symbols. Um, so I'm just going to take my screwdriver, dip it in my water to cool it off. Um, and make sure to clean your screwdriver off afterwards because you'll get lots of melted plastic on it and things like that. Um, so anyways, now that it's cooled off, and you don't have to dip it in water to cool it off. It doesn't take very long. Is you want to just sort of run it through these grooves you've melted out now to get all the little sort of cotton candy of you know, stringy crap in here out. Um, and make sure to run it through a few times, otherwise when you paint it you're going to regret it. It's going to look like crap. Um, but anyway, and then, you know, it's just sort of typical, um, you know, paint it gray and dry brush it lighter gray or something like that. Make it look like worn stones or, you know, whatever you want it to be made out of. But if you're, if you want shit carved in, uh, in pink foam like this, um, this is my recommendation of the way to go.